I am sure you would agree, Daniel was at the darkest moment you could be in. When he was in the gas chamber in October of 2011, the darkness overcame him. He was as close to death as you could be. But he found the light. He was meant to live. He is a miracle, in fact. But he now has a purpose. And that purpose is for each and every one of us. For there are dark moments in our life. Although they are learning experiences, we need to get through them and find the light. And when we do, we find our higher purpose, we find parts of ourselves that we never thought it would be, and we become a better person. Daniel will lead the way. Any form of darkness, even though the dark moments can be a learning experience for us, they block out peace and compassion from our life. The dog's view and the other animals that share the world with our canine friends have a much more refreshing look at this, which is why we implemented the dog's view of peace and compassion into Daniel's Flock podcasting series. We're excited about it, and we're very excited because we absolutely believe that these podcasts and the speaking opportunities that we will follow up on will bring a deeper sense of peace and compassion to the world while saving animals in need and bringing respect to the animals at the same time. Peace and compassion needs to be the foundation for any initiative that is out there for the good of animals and people. And we're convinced that peace and compassion will flourish because of the dog's view and Daniel's flock. We're available for speaking opportunities in your business, at schools, we have experience talking about bullying, and then any group that you also have that would benefit from Daniel's story and what we can all learn from it. Thank you so much. Daniel and I will see you soon. Daniel and I would love for you to become a member of Daniel's Flock. Please provide us with your email address in the box on the website. Our dream is to build a congregation of believers so animals will be saved and peace will truly rain down on earth.